So apparently, after you beat the game 100%, getting all 100 cat shines, when you return to the game and have the cat bell or lucky cat bell, you actually look like the mega cat Mario, but just as regular Mario, regular cat Mario. I didn't know this, but on the Mario's face screen for Super Mario 64, if you press one of the back buttons, it actually puts Mario's face all over the screen. I don't know if this was in the original version, but it definitely is in the Super Mario All-Stars version. And then you can also tap the button again and it will go away. In Super Mario Sunshine, the design for Serena Beach it was also resembles a GameCube controller, a GameCube, and also a GameCube disc. I found a music in the rolling levels in Super Mario Galaxy that when you roll over the sign it just springs back into place after a little bit, which I thought was really cool. And just a lot of fun to just knock over the sign, of course. Also on Bowser's Fury, I had a bit of trouble getting to the island over there because of trying to jump that bit there. But I think you're supposed to have be on this island over here, with all the lava and all that. At Rolling Roller Isle, you're supposed to, I'm pretty sure, you're supposed to go up here with one of the, the helicopter blocks. And then launch yourself, or fling yourself, over this way using the block to actually fly over to the island over here. Which works a lot better than the strategy I had, which was just to try and jump over the black goop and just keep jumping. But anyway, that's that's how I'm, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do that. Also because I'm, I, I, don't, I had a bit of trouble understanding the teleportation warping earlier, I'm pretty sure you just need to have Bowser Jr. nearby. You need to be on the ground, not in a secret area. Just not moving. And then you can warp to one of the areas that you want to warp to. It's it's a lot more simple than I thought it was. But anyway.